Hi, welcome to JNA Voices for Change on YouTube. These, my name is Anthony. And I'm Joey. Welcome. These welcome. again are our opinions and our opinions only, not of any company, person, or individual. Nothing personal, just business. It's just business. These are certainly not Sunline's views. These are my views because Sunline's views stink. That's me. That's personally, that's what I think. I'm entitled to that opinion. If you don't like it, that's your problem. Don't watch the video. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So what, what's, what's being brought up today, Joey? Okay. Well, right now, okay. I got a, a text from somebody and bro, there, there is only, let's see, two buses running on the 111. And they're supposed to be, what, about eight, nine? Oh, at 10? least, at least. Okay, so two buses are only running. Okay, so uh, <laughs> that's, it's, it's funny, but it's not funny. It's, the, it's okay. funny because, uh, like Glenn Miller states that everything is wonderful, wonderful. but it's not funny because the operators are going to be the ones to get the heat from the people. And um, uh, again, uh, I, I received some documentation today, uh, another form of bullying that is not going to work. It's not going to work because no. we live in America. We were free to speak our opinions and our views only uh we're not going to be they're not going to shut us up because they they want to shut us up uh we're going to continue to expose the the what needs to be exposed uh in hopes of change uh right. driver seats uh break times uh restrooms and these are these are problems that are happening as we speak uh, again, I, I, maybe Joey, uh, you can go, uh, on the link on your phone so you can turn it to your screen and, and show the, my stop app, uh, and show the buses in live view. I mean, we might right. get two of you, we might get two of you, but turn it around and we might get a little echo, but at least, uh, we'll, we'll get to show, uh, live footage of the tracker that passengers use to track the buses as they're waiting at the stop. It's called My Stop, and yep. you go into the Sunline Transit, and you get to see where your bus is at. It's if it's even there. Um, it, it's just it's crazy. It's crazy how how things are happening here. Um, people are are uh, making threats that. Um, for for us to stop uh look at right there how many buses are on that 111 you can't tell me all those trackers are not working uh you cannot tell me that i feel so bad for the operator yeah you know and and there again too because um we you know we would do this on youtube uh where where we could share um like you and I, we could we could do a YouTube live via our via our mobile. Invite you know somebody else. We can't seem to figure it out. Um, so it's not live, live. It's live. It's pre-recorded and then uploaded. But for the the two operators that are operating these buses right now, I want to tell you guys, um, you know what? Hats off to you guys because you guys are are toughing it out. Uh, make sure you guys stop and make sure you guys get your breaks. Use the bathroom. Use the restroom. If you need to stretch, get out and stretch. Don't kill yourself because the company's run like like garbage. You know, I mean, come yeah. on, we Anthony. You know, I, you and I did this long enough to where we know this late this late at night like that on a on a Monday seven thirty. There should be still quite a few buses running on that route. Uh, it's probably newer drivers on a, on a Monday night who the who Sunline thinks that they can. They can bully or or treat like trash because uh, they don't know. Mm -hmm. This that's what this yeah. is what happens. 
This is your, your inept planning, Glenn Miller. She does such a good job. Pat yourself on the back, you big boy, huh? Pathetic. Hey, can you see that, Joey? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a cow. <laughs> <laughs> Mouth like doo doo. <laughs> it sure does. It sure does. Yeah. Okay, so um, I know uh, we made this, we're making this uh, late night uh, or not late night, but later on video, but because so many, so many uh, requests are being shot in that, that there's only two buses. Uh, the trackers are only showing two buses uh, running. It's not fair. It's not fair. Um, and something needs to get done. Um, why, why is there only two buses on the tracker? Can well, you tell let's me see what else is going on? Because there's, there is, a. Uh, let's see, route six, there's some sort of a delay. Well, see, they, well, they, they, they're blaming, they're, so that's, that's, I understand that, uh, they're blaming it on the AM drivers that are running late and in turns it's trickled down to the PM drivers. That's what they're what they're claiming that uh, that's why the buses are so late because okay but if you look if you look right here, look at there's there's no warnings on the one. No warning. There's no warning. If you notice there's a little red triangle right that indicates that that yeah. that there's there's some sort of a warning or, or like some in particular there's construction or there's um. Uh, there's bus stop closures or something, something that's out of Sunline's control. But the one is in Sunline's control, and um, <laughs> and <laughs> there's, no, there's no indicators on the on the one. There's only bus 628 and 631 running on the 111 right now. One is in Coachella. The other one is in in East Valley. One is in West Valley. That's sad. Sad, but but like you say, Glenn Miller is saying uh, she's doing a wonderful job. Okay, but and, it's oh, let, here here again. Okay, the one runs through every Valley City. So Glenn Miller, he's Indio. Lisa Middleton, Palm Springs. Nancy Ross, Cathedral City. Uh, Russell, I think. What's that? Russell Bates is uh, a Desert Hot Springs. Yeah, but the one doesn't, the one, this particular bus, oh, oh, okay, the one okay, that okay, runs right. through these cities. Oh, uh, well, what, what was it? Indian Wells, uh, um, Dana Reed. Oh, my bad. He's not, a, I don't think he's, a, he's on yeah. the, I think he lost the race. This is, this is, <laughs> yeah, he, he lost. There's there another worthless, worthless, worthless trash board member gone. <laughs> He he does a wonderful job. Big shoulders. But every every one of these every one of these these the uh, these board members sit on uh, these council members in one of these cities. They all sit on Sunline's board. Okay, you're a taxpayer. These people need to need to vote accordingly. Remember these problems with Sunline and vote accordingly. Get, yep. get the trash out. Take it. Get rid of it. Get rid of it because they're ruining the bus system. These people are yeah. are are the governing body of Sunline, and they they completely are out of touch with what happens at Sunline with the riders. Everything that's why Sunline has gone to hell in a handbasket. Hell in a handbasket. That's right. Let me see if I can I can pull that. Um, presentation, open board. Uh, let me see. You know, and, and again, with the, the garbage that you got today in the mail, Anthony, what, yeah. what really blows my mind is the, some of the language that was used in that letter the, the hypocrisy of that letter, the double standard 
double standard of that waste of paper that was sent to you. Yeah. How come, how come nobody gives a damn about uh, at that company in the management, how, how we were treated. Nobody cares about how we were harassed. Nobody cares how we were bullied. Nobody cares how, how, uh, the emotional damage that that Sunline puts its employees through. Should we should we get on the get on the line some of the people that we talk to about the emotional damage, the emotional distress? Yeah, and uh, and they're willing to. Can we get your sister willing, on the phone. They're, will, they're and, and, willing to testify. Yeah, maybe that. Okay, so 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 the people that wrote that letter, then then. Anthony, we are going to talk about that in, in court, that, that, that letter. We're going to talk about that. And those people that, that we talked to, they're going to testify. Yeah. That's good. Yeah, that's, that, that's good. Bring me into court. Bring me into court so I can lay it down. Because we, believe me, we have enough, enough people that <laughs> they have no clue uh, are on speed dial, ready to go. You know, they're ready to go. See, and, and there again, it it never it never had to be this way, Anthony. I've said this Open it. all summer long. It never had to be this way. All these lame ducks, all they would have had to do is is just come to us and say, "Hey, what's going on, Russell Betts?" Mm -hmm. uh -huh. All you would have had to do is say, "What's going on? What 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 can we?" What can we help you with what can, can yeah. how can we get to the bottom of this you know yeah. why why couldn't any of those board members come in walk their 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 worthless selves into that lounge and say hey shake hands say hey i'm so and so there seems to be a problem what can we do to fix it why couldn't they yeah. do that they couldn't do that because they they don't give a damn they don't care no and then they turn no. around and send you a letter yeah like let, let, let's let's talk about information okay let's talk about information that uh she was terminated okay let's talk about information that okay let's talk about uh like again i'm not going to say who it was but let's talk about that board members call that uh er every every call that is made to me is recorded and uh it, it's also um, sent to a cloud. So every conversation that we had via text, via voice is sent to a cloud. Uh, so let's talk about uh, the statement that they said, uh, we got rid of her. Can you stand down? Uh, can you let it go? Don't make problems at her new job. Okay, well, we stated, what well, we stated, what I stated, what we want is to have a sit down. You have a week, you have a week to make that happen. Uh, we will let it go away. You have a week to make it happen. And we're, that, that call was on the 14th. So we're, we're past the week. So yeah, that's uh, they don't I, I gave, care. They don't care. They don't they care. Don't, they, they don't, don't care, care about you. They don't care about me. They don't care about no. They don't care about they, them. Okay, you know, rarely do we do we ever bring up the mechanics because we think differently. The drivers and mechanics always think differently. But guess what? I'm going to bring it up. Sunline, the mechan the, the they don't care about the mechanics either. They don't. Nope. They don't. You guys, you guys can think what you want to think. They don't care about you. They don't care about uh, stops and zones. They don't care about the drivers. They don't care. They sure as hell don't care about paratransit. And they don't care about the facility maintenance. They don't care about our, our uh, the Teamster brothers and sisters. They don't care. Nope. They don't care about any of them. So let, let's, let's get back to uh, what's really going on, okay? If, if they had any sense, they would have a sit down with us and how, and we could help them make to be the voice to make this system work i mean it, it, the the way that we're the voice to put it out there that there were there, there was so much wrongdoing there 
uh, we can also be the voice to bring it together and, and, and get people to want to come to work there and get people to their morale brought back up and, and have break times. And you know what? The, the, the planning department, I know it sounds like a broken record, but the planning, planning department's got to go. That's that's one hundred percent right there. Yeah, you, we, that, we need they, people they like, like they, need, they need people like Charlie back there. Yeah, Charlie Charlie did it all, but with a with a the whole bit with a piece of paper and a pencil. Yeah, and and Anita, Anita that was there. I mean, uh, Connie uh, was there. I mean, there's a lot of individuals that would love. Or I should say, would love to to make Sunline great, make it bring it help bring it back. I, I don't yeah. know if any of these. Uh, I, I mean, there's a there's a, a whole list of people that I can I can think of that uh, are no longer working there. One day you're, they're there, and one day they're gone. I mean, let's let let the board member let's sit down and investigate. Uh, call each of every individual that that has worked there for from one year to five years to five years to 10 years wh whatever it takes uh and bring uh, uh actually bring somebody that maybe a psychologist to help boost the morale of, of individuals uh because it's gonna take it's gonna take more than than just a general manager uh in term to come in there and make make it right uh, it's sad because, like I said, I love my job and 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 I've been there 26 years and and you know what I I I had fun going to work and doing the job. You know what I didn't it didn't it was not a miserable place as it is today. And well, Anthony, it's some something is is definitely going on there because I just got a text from from an anonymous uh, anonymous person. Uh, hold on. I'm going to tell that person right now. Um, it's uh, something's going on. Um, <laughs> I'll talk to you about it. Uh, once when uh, off the, off the, the camera, right. so we can figure right, it well, out. Let, let's, let's something, something's let's going on it. because he, he, they just, Text me right now and and something stinks in suburbia, bro. Somebody at Sunline, somebody at Sunline that is non-union, somebody that has white privilege, that somebody should be fired. Something is going on. So these are our opinions. Mm -hmm. and, and our opinions our only. Opinions are only. These are our views and our views and, only. And there again, if, if, if people watching it, if you don't like what you are seeing, then change the channel. Don't watch it. Yeah. Yeah. If, you don't like, if you don't like what I'm saying or what Anthony's saying, then that's your problem, not mine. Yeah. That's my opinion. That's my opinion only, not Sunline's, not anybody else's. That's my opinion. I, I think I'm thinking about uh, post, posting this letter Another, this is maybe another form of bullying, but like like I said in before, I, I said it. This this is a slogan. You ain't bullying me no more. No. <laughs> hey, 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 you're not gonna bully me, and I'm not gonna bully Joey. Uh, no. You can you can do and say what you want, but you ain't gonna bully us no more. You know what? Uh, send us the letters. Let's go to court. Uh, Hey, it, it doesn't really matter because when we go in front of that judge in April, boy, do we have a show for you? Yes, we do. And <laughs> uh, you know, Anthony will post this later. Uh, like, share, and subscribe because uh, you're gonna you're gonna have one hell of a show coming up. Um, Anybody that wants to view that 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 court hearing has a right to do so. Has a right to view it. You no want to confidentiality. See it? Yeah, I urge you to to watch and watch Sunline and their counsel because you're going to see a true clown show. 
You, I, I'm telling you, if you think that the government is a clown show, you haven't seen anything yet. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, we're going to wrap this up. Uh, these are our views and our views only. And we have freedom of speech. Uh, we're protected under freedom and labor 232.5 and we also are whistleblowers if it don't That's i don't right. care how you, slice it, how you slice it it where we are the whistleblowers to bring down who we need to bring down it doesn't matter is is at the end of the day when we get changed ride the coattail because that's what that's what's going to happen just it's about making uh the drivers uh life's better again that's i'm gonna, that's I'm what gonna it's show all you about. something anthony we have the right to do what we do because of this right here because of this yep that's why we can do what we can do if you don't like those rights then go move to china go move to venezuela go move to iran <laughs> get the hell out of here <laughs> <laughs> All right. Peace out. <laughs> peace out, y'all. Have a good one. Be safe. Operators, take your breaks.